Hey guys, I just got off the phone with my distributor. I am incredibly excited by this product. It is not going to be $6.99 a pack. It's going to be closer to $21, $22 a pack. Now my discount will apply if I buy at least 100 of them and he's suggesting that I pre-order with him right now which I have to do some math, I have to move some money, but yeah. Atraxa is just one of many cards in this set, and it's a beautiful card. I actually do not own a Atraxa. I think the alternative art is very good looking. As you probably know, I'm not a big fan of the borderless or the extended art, but I am a fan of new art, and this is new art. I like new art. I don't like the extended art because the extended art is just zooming in, which is not great. Any graphic designer will tell you this is not the way to make uh, something appealing. I have not bought a master set in some time and I have not bought any Pharaohs Beyond Death. I was gonna buy Ikoria, but I'm not gonna buy any more. And I haven't bought Throne of the Eldrin. So it has been some time since I really bought Magic Cards as a store. Or the buying power of a store. A store has significantly more ability to buy than a individual. Because again, you're a store. I think I'm going to double down on this. Blightsteel Colossus, uh, also quite expensive card, is in the set. So out of the three cards they spoiled... Atraxa, so th th does that mean Brea will be in the set? Because I play Brea, and that's my favorite commander, so I would be interested in a Brea. Right now is not the time. Right now is not the time to be buying Magic cards until we know more about the Double Masters. Because I'm guessing the Double Masters will have double the value so even assuming these booster packs are $20 a pack retail, I mean the boxes, I mean boxes are maybe $300. I, I can imagine maybe the boxes are $300 a box. It's going to be pretty insane. Now we don't know the print run. We don't know very much of it other than it's double a master set but if you look at ultimate masters and essentially you just double ultimate masters so ultimate masters i think somebody tried to buy list it to me for 300 the other day and i was like eh whatever it would have 600 dollars of value in it for 300 dollars. not bad uh, i do expect Brea, I mean, the, this makes sense to me. If you're going to do alternative artwork, full size, fully extended, then you would do it of the EDH commanders, right? You wouldn't do it of random standard cards. So the collector's edition of Ikoria, Throne of the... Not, none of that made any sense to me. They were just... Yes, they were very nice versions of standard cards, but the majority of standard cards sees no playability after they rotate out. Because these are reprints, we know whether or not they're playable. There's no question as to, hey, do you think uh, Traxa is playable? No, we know that she's a popular EDH commander. Hey, do you think Doubling Seasons is playable? No, we don't need... So all the questions I had about the Collector's Edition... This just blows it out the water because, again, now we know these cards are reprinted. We know that they will be played. We know a lot of, we know Atraxa, Blightsteel Colossus, Doubling Season. These are very high in, high in high demand EDH cards. So if Blightsteel Colossus had a different artwork that looked pretty good, I think it would be definitely... Now, I will address some issues. They did say that they were going to take a break from the Master Series. That break lasted one year. So it's like, huh, that's kind of weird for them to announce that. And then, But then again, they also said that no more core sets. And we're getting a core set in five weeks from now. We're getting Jump Start. This is really a money grab. So right now, you need to save your money and then 
buy this product because this product is going to be amazing. It's remember when Ultimate Masters came out and everyone's so hyped on that. This is double the hype because it's literally double the cards or the double the good cards. And you know, I have never been so excited for a set because at the same time I saved my cash. I didn't buy. I didn't buy Ikoria Collector's Edition. I didn't buy Throne of the Eldrin at all. I didn't buy Pharaoh's Beyond Death at all. So I have a bunch of cash reserve that normally a store would use to buy these things. And now I can buy this. Now in the future, will there be quadruple masters? I don't know. What is eight? Octa master? Who, who knows? But right now, this is a fantastic deal. Okay, so tell me what card in Ikoria Collector's Edition is better than a foil doubling season alternative artwork? What card is better than Atraxa? What card is better than Blightsteel Colossus? The answer is none of them. So that is why I'm going to buy this until there is no tomorrow. Because there's no tomorrow. This is the product. Bye, guys.